Hi everyone, this video is a continuation of my NBA Sports Analytics project. Um, in the last video, I showed you how to get the games data and the box score data from my GitHub repository. In this video, we are going to basically use that data to recreate um, the NBA standings list and to recreate some of the player stats. So whatever we're seeing here, um, so we're seeing points, rebounds, assists, blocks, three-pointers made, and steals. We'll recreate this list, um, and we'll recreate the win-loss table. Um, so the way we're going to do that is the first thing we're going to do is we are going to import the games data and the box score data again. Um, again, we're going to need to load the packages dplyr and readr. Um, then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a variable called standings. Standings. And then we're going to bring in the games variable and we're going to use the piping function. So just a reminder, the piping function is control shift M. If you're not familiar with this, head over to my channel and watch my video on tidyr and dplyr. Um, th these are very important videos if you want to follow my tutorials and it'll just give you a quick overview of what these um, functions are. So then the next thing we are going to do is we are going to um, filter down this data set by season type equals regular season, which is basically going to get rid of any preseason games or playoff games. There's no playoff games in the 21, 2021 season yet. Um, and we're going to say result equal, does, excuse me, does not equal TBD. And this is going to get rid of any future games that haven't been played yet. Next, we're going to say group by team what this is going to do is it's going to give us one row for each team and it's going to allow us to sum up certain columns based off of the team identification so what we're going to, we're going to do another piping function and we're going to do summarize and we'll say w for win equals sum of result equals w and then we'll do the same thing for L. So result equals L. Um, let's execute that with control enter. And now we should have a new data frame in our global environment called standings. Let's open that up. Um, and if we sort by the number of wins, we can see that Utah Jazz are on top with 23 wins and five losses. If we head over to ESPN.com, we can see that this has accurately summed the wins for the Utah Jazz and presumably for the rest of the league, um, assuming the data came in correctly, which I did just double check. So everything should be coming in just fine. Um, and just to recap what's happening here. So when we grouped by, so we did this group by function. And if we actually open up our games, so we did group by team. So in the games 2021, there is a column called team. We just took each unique observation in team and we put that in the rows of standing. And then for each unique row where it said Utah, right? If result was a W, it summed that in the W column. Um, same with L. So that's how we got to this basic win-loss table. Um, let's expand on this a little bit. So let's do the win percent. And to do that, we'll do W divided by W plus L. Let's also do the points per game and we'll do mean points for, and let's also do opponent PPG, which will be mean points against. Let's execute that and let's take another look at the standings here and we'll sort by win percentage this time. Um, and so I'm, I'm a Sixers fan, so I'm gonna I'm gonna focus in on the Sixers here. So we have 18 wins, 10 losses, um, 114 points for, and 111 points against. Actually, 112 if we round up. And let's compare that. So we have 18 wins, 10 losses. We have 114 and a half points for, and we have right 112 basically points against so um, we basically just recreated this table um, from the data that is being fed in through uh, github and right so these tables are going to get updated basically the data set is going to get updated tomorrow so if you wake up tomorrow you rerun this um, it's going to have all of the new wins and losses 
and that'll just flow through quite seamlessly. And so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do stat leaders. And to do that, we're gonna bring in the box score 2021. And we're gonna do something very similar. So we are gonna filter by season type equals regular season. And in this case, we wanna do played equals true. So the reason we want played equals true is because if a player, um, w when you look at the box scores on ESPN, if a player didn't play any game, they'll still be listed on the box score and all their stat lines will just be a zero. And so that's gonna affect, um, right? So the games played is the denominator, right? And your average points per game. And so if you're affecting that denominator, that's gonna affect your stats. So we wanna make sure that it, we're only taking games where players played. Um, and then we are going to group, actually let's do it in line. We will group by player ID string. Um, that, this is basically just the player name. So what we're doing by the group by is we're creating one instance of each player in the rows of our stat leader data set. And then we are gonna summarize, we're gonna say points equal mean points we're gonna say rebounds equal mean rebounds we'll say assists equal mean of assists blocks equals mean blocks threes made Capitalize that equals mean of threes made. And then steals equals mean steals. Um, let's execute that. And I have an error in here somewhere. Um, it looks like I put an extra parenthesis somewhere. And that's because actually I forgot a comma after threes made. So put that comma in, enter. Now we have our stats leader data frame in the global environment. Let's click on that. Um, let's see who's leading in points per game. So that's Bradley Beal with 33.1. Let's check out ESPN. So Bradley Beal, 33.1. We have rebounds, Clint Capella. See assists, James Harden. Assists, there we have Harden, 11.3. Let's see blocks. Miles Turner. Oops. Uh, so there we have Miles Turner, blocks 3.5. Steph Curry is our three-point leader with five and drew holiday with 1.9 steals let's just double check um so three's made steph curry steals okay so here if we're looking at steals actually what espn is showing is that drew holiday is actually the stat leader and I think this is fine because what ESPN does is they drop off anyone who hasn't played at least, I think, 70% of the games from the stat leaders. So we're seeing two players who I think have been out for most of the season or haven't played in most of the games that are leading in, in our data set in this column. Um, so, you know, if you, if you wanted to calculate that out, it would be pretty simple. I'm not going to handle that in this video. If you'd like to give that a shot, I, I would highly recommend going for it. Um, but that being said, in the next video in the NBA Sports Analytics project that I'm working on here, I'm going to make some simple power rankings using what's called ELO rating. Um, this is going to be similar to what I put together for the NCAA football video. Um, so stay tuned for that. And if you continue to enjoy these, definitely hit subscribe. And thanks for watching.